To begin setup of the Diamondback 360 OAS, draw 20 milliliters of Viperslide lubricant solution from the lubricant bag and mix with a 1,000 milliliter bag of normal saline. Using sterile technique, open the pouch and extract the packaging tube that contains the guide wire. Remove the guide wire. Use care not to stretch or damage the distal spring tip when removing from the packaging. Gain vessel access using the physician's preferred methodology. Use angiography to visualize and evaluate the lesion. The setup takes less than two minutes. Use the screw clamp to attach the pump to a standard IV pole, no higher than 60 inches, 153 centimeters, from the floor. Hang the low saline level sensor from the horizontal arm of the IV pole. Plug the low saline level sensor connector into the back of the pump. Verify that the power cord is connected to the back of the pump. Plug the power cord into a properly rated hospital grade power outlet. Press the master power button and check that the red or yellow LED is lit on the pump controls. Remove the sterile tubing from the OAD package and pass the tubing spike end out from the sterile field to a non-sterile team member. Connect the saline line to the OAD saline connection. The non-sterile team member performs the following steps. Hang the prepared bag of normal saline solution with lubricant from the low saline level sensor. Connect the saline tubing to the saline bag using standard hospital procedure. Ensure that there is slack in the tubing between the pump and saline bag. Open the pump tubing door. Place the saline tubing into the grooved guides of the roller pump. Close the roller pump door. Verify that the saline tubing is not kinked or damaged and that the tubing is properly inserted into the roller pump. Connect the OAD power cable to the pump. Next, purge air from the OAD. Press the green start button and check that the green LED is lit. Press and hold the prime button on the front of the saline pump or on the OAD to purge the system. It will pump saline at an increased flow rate as long as the prime button is held down. When the prime button is released, the rate of saline flow will decrease to the low flow rate after 3 seconds. Note, if the prime button is held for 25 seconds or longer, the OAS pump may give an audible notification. Continue the priming process and ensure that no air bubbles are present in the saline tubing. Watch for saline to exit from the sheath near the crown and ensure that no air bubbles are present in the saline tubing. Before inserting any portion of the OAD into the body, ensure that axial movement of the crown advancer knob will produce smooth travel of the crown. Note, do not activate rotation of the crown during this test. Ensure that the crown advancer knob is in the unlocked position, allowing free axial travel of the crown advancer knob. While visually monitoring the crown, slowly move the crown advancer knob in a back and forth motion. After testing the crown advancement, test the crown rotation. Move the crown advancer knob fully proximal away from the nose of the handle and release the guide wire brake before threading the guide wire through the shaft. Grasp the proximal end of the guide wire and thread it through the hole in the shaft tip distal to the crown. Continue feeding the guide wire into the shaft until the guide wire appears at the rear of the handle. The OAD should not have passed through the hemostasis valve at this point. Ensure that the brake is locked as the crown will not spin if the brake is open. Verify that saline is still flowing freely and check the saline tubing and connections for any leaks. Note, ensure that the rotating portion of the OAD will not contact any body parts or clothing. Press the on-off button located on top of the crown advancer knob to activate crown rotation. The OAD is preset to low speed and the LED will indicate the low speed is selected. Check that the flow of saline has increased and that the shaft and crown have begun to spin. Immediately press the on-off button again to stop rotation and complete the test.